Now, this is a story about the first time someone attempted to kidnap me. My parents and my nephews and I were on our way back from Minnesota. My nephews and my mother were up in the hotel room. And my dad and I went down to get our luggage from the truck. My dad put the truck in front of the lobby doors and he stood behind the truck on the phone and was talking on the phone and he told me to take my luggage back in into the hotel and then he said never mind I got it I said okay and then I walked back in dad said to um, go back up to the room for whatever reason and I stood in front of the elevator waiting for it to open and there was nobody down the small hallway it was like a super short hallway and a very small lobby and I went into the elevator and a man swung inside I don't even know where he came from I don't even know where he was hiding at. And it still baffles me today. Where where did he come from? And he was old and gray and uh, roughly six foot something tall. And he had his arm in front of the doorway, but he was inside of the elevator with me, and I had already pushed the number four button, and he said, oh, you're on my level. Of course he's on my level. And I decided, well, maybe God will get me through this, and, you know, the smelly old man will be off this elevator before I know it so I'll just endure it and I'll just be nice and I won't be rude about it even though he creeped me out and he's extremely smelly but instead of putting up with it I guess God had taken care of me because the man who had his arm out in front of me and as smelly as he was I just stood there and I, I prayed to God. I said, if I need to leave, keep the door open. And I'm like, waiting for this door to shut. The elevator door just stayed open. And it just wouldn't close. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get out of here. God doesn't want me to stay in here with him. I gotta get out of here. So I dashed under his arm and got out. And right behind my left foot, I could feel this vibration on my way out. And I could hear this big bang behind me. The door had shut in his face on my way out. And I was in the lobby still, and I started to cry. I, I was so overwhelmed and shaken up. And there were several people behind the desk. There usually aren't that many people in a hotel behind the desk. Usually like one or two, right? Well, this particular occasion, God had put several people behind that desk as witnesses. And um, they must have been a family. One lady said, oh, she's all shaken up and, and I, you know, I, I didn't know how to answer the questions that they, that they asked. And the one guy asked, is it the man of the beater and the surveillance? And, and I said, yes. My dad came back and he's like, why aren't you up in the room? At that point, I had managed to wipe away my tears. I didn't want him to know that I was nearly kidnapped with a wall between me and my dad.
two big glass doors that he could have seen if he could have if he would have only looked he would have seen this guy and there's just a wall between me potentially being kidnapped and my dad and this is another reason why I didn't want to make videos about this stuff yet. I didn't this is why I didn't want my dad to know. But again, like I said in my last video, my my boyfriend had slipped out to my dad that I had been in an abusive relationship in the past. So I mean, now I might as well.